Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we are going to be talking about the top five programming languages that you guys should be focusing on if you're looking to get hired as a developer or you're looking to make money in 2020. Okay, so let's get started. The number five language that I have here is Python. Now, you're probably wondering, what the hell is Python? Python is a programming language that has been around for years. Now it's super popular because they also teach this in almost every single level of college and even high school. I've seen people in junior high school learning how to code in Python. It's super powerful, okay? You can do anything from web development to software to machine learning, pretty much anything that you could think of, you could do it with Python. Now, I'm putting in a number five because there's not that many jobs for people who don't have a degree or don't have that much experience as a developer. So I'm putting it on number five for that specific reason. I know somebody's gonna kill me. They're gonna be like, Joe, wait, what? You're putting Python on number five? What's going on? Well, I'm putting it there for a reason because the majority of people who are watching me here, they are self-taught developers and pretty much people that are learning online. And I've noticed that it's actually harder for you to get a job as a developer for Python without a degree. So I gotta put it at number five. If you have a degree, hey, this might be your number one language, okay? That's just the truth. So let's get started with the next one. The next one is Swift. Now, Swift is a programming language created by the good old people at Apple, okay? It's pretty much the language that they use for everything as far as creating their applications, right? We're talking about mobile, tablet, right? iOS. If you guys use an iPhone, pretty much all of the applications that you've seen or have used, they're built with Swift, especially now. Back in the days, they used to use Objective-C. Some companies still use Objective-C, but pretty much everybody has transitioned to Swift. Okay, it's a great language, and there's a lot of jobs for mobile applications developers out there. So definitely, in my take, I would say, hey, learn it if you wanna become a mobile applications developer. All right, number three, we have C Sharp. Now, you're probably wondering, Joe, C Sharp? I mean, isn't this a super old language, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, probably C Sharp has more jobs compared to everybody else. Now, it all depends on what type of individual you are. Not everybody wants to work with C Sharp. Well, most people that use C Sharp, you might see them doing some applications. For Windows, you might see them create uh, video games like in Unity. It all depends on what you wanna go for. But from my research and from what I've been looking online, you know, there's a lot of jobs out there. And even if you might need some degrees for some jobs, I can tell you from experience, I've seen a lot of guys that don't have a degree and pretty much have taught themselves online and they're working in companies using C Sharp, right? It could be for .NET Core, it could be for .NET, it could be for, like I said, Unity, it could be for a whole bunch of different type of uh, applications, right? It's one of those languages that have been around since like forever and there's a lot of companies that just use them, especially enterprise level, okay? So that's number three. Number two, we have PHP. Probably one of those people that be like, man, I hate PHP. I keep hearing nobody should be using PHP. I keep hearing, oh my God, PHP is dead. I keep hearing all of these things. Why should I learn PHP? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, right? Most of you guys that's watching this right now, you have to understand, you are either a self-taught developer, a guy going to codingphase.com, a guy going to udemy.com, right? You wanna choose a language that the barrier for entry is easier than most, because you most likely don't have experience and like I said, you don't have a degree. So if you are coming from that background, you wanna be able to find something that you could get a job right away. And with PHP, there's a lot of jobs for WordPress, there's a lot of jobs for Laravel, there's a lot of jobs for even Cake PHP or Code Igniter, okay? Those are technologies that most people look over and be like, oh, those are not the latest things, but you have to understand there's a whole bunch of jobs within the ecosystem of PHP. Yes, it's not the sexiest, but at the same time, it's one of the most popular languages and it's pretty much the heart and soul 
of the web. If you look online and you compare PHP, comparing it to every other programming language out there, as far as the web, you will see that PHP has like 23 million websites built with PHP. What does that mean for you? That means that there's more opportunities and more companies using PHP. So if you are a junior developer, you can actually go ahead and have more chances to getting hired with PHP than any other language because there's so many opportunities out there. Okay. Now, number one, I'm going to put in JavaScript. And the reason why JavaScript is number one is because you can actually use it for the front end. You can use it for the back end. You can use it for web applications. You can use it for uh, mobile applications. You could use it for desktop applications. Like pretty much you can use JavaScript with anything and build anything on JavaScript. Now, another thing that's super important for you guys to learn JavaScript is the fact that there's so many jobs that the barrier for entry is not that high. I've seen situations where they'd be like, hey, three months of experience with JavaScript, six months of experience with JavaScript, hey, one year of experience with JavaScript. Like you'll see that most of the time on like front end development jobs, UI development jobs, etc. So for you guys that are watching this, it's so much easier for you guys to get a job by using JavaScript. It's one of those languages that is popular now. There's a lot of development happening, okay? New libraries, new framework, new things is always popping up and people are just having a lot of fun with JavaScript and, and companies are investing into JavaScript. So to be honest with you, if you have the opportunity to learn any of the languages that I just showed you guys, like I would definitely go for PHP or JavaScript. Like those two are like, the go-tos because when you are a junior developer, you just starting out, you want to get into something that they're going to give you opportunities to get into the industry. Once you have a year, two years of experience, you pretty much can choose any programming language you want. But these two languages right there, they're really going to help you out in the long run just to get into the industry. Once you're in, you're in. Okay. It's like a union, right? Once you're into the development union, you're in for life. It's going to be very difficult for anybody to take you out, but you need to get in first. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy this type of content. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment. Tell me which languages are you focusing in 2020? Have you actually done the research? Have you looked in your area? See which ones are actually hiring, uh, which ones you feel you're going to have more opportunities to get hired for let me know in the comment section all right now by the way guys i'm going to leave you here with a good old playlist and a video okay so there's gonna be a playlist here and a video right here okay make sure you check out one of these and continue watching the content that we have here all right guys i'll see you guys in the next video yeah go ahead click somewhere click here click there yeah yeah go ahead click click click